Queridos compatriotas, durante estos dos años de gobierno, You excited about your little 15 days quarantine? Yeah. Yeah. What are you do? <laughs> and you? What am I most excited about? Yeah. <laughs> it should be spending time with Ken. <laughs> spending quality time with my new best friend. Ken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, we're gonna change over here. <laughs> That's really bright. It is Emily. Emily, why are we using a flashlight? Why can't we turn the lights? Um, <laughs> and why are we shushing? Is that? We can't be seen or heard because we could get arrested any second. If we are seeing the home. So. Gathering and it's miserable. So we're stuck in a hostel. We're stuck in a hostel. With um, no lights. With no lights, <laughs> with no music, with no beer. And every five minutes is a. That's the soundtrack to this holiday. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. Meetings are never a good thing here. <laughs> And what do you think it's going to be about? Well, rumor on the street, someone in Cusco has at the Terry Wano has indicated symptoms, so they have a So, I don't know, maybe there's going to be even more stuff locked out. We have another meeting. Do we? Yeah. Is it going to be this time? What else are they going to take away? Well, there's not much more to take away, really. Take our They took our freedom. They took our freedom. Okay, it's just, I think now it's just alternating. Yesterday I was in a brilliant mood. Today it's like more like yeah. tomorrow will be my day. Okay, we're being shushed. Okay, so this guy over here, Eric, he's our manager. Cold war, a cold war. So when they come, we have to run to the door. 
just getting more separated by the day, my dude. Yeah, it's so sad, so sad. Ah, we can help out. One more, one more week. We're all for That's my So you're gonna be stuck in the room with me for the next eight days. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. God love you. <laughs> I never was in the I was in the I was in the Ready for work? Of course you are. So you're joining her, right? I mean, I'm going to join the workers today. <laughs> the problem being in a hostel, trying to do something like this, is that people everywhere. Everywhere. You don't have privacy at all. Be more noises. What noises do you take to get the most of your rest? Being more noisy. And how's that? What do you regret? It's never ending. It is never ending. Especially the Dutch. The Dutch love the club. You guys came, arrived, went. Yeah. And when were you quarantined? <laughs> and when are you meant to be home by? Uh, the 2nd of April. And now you want to go home early? Yeah. <laughs> You're the first guy yeah. out of this hostel for the flight. Yeah. I like to encourage you. Uh, being with you guys here. Oh, thanks, man. That's nice. I think the low sense moment was yesterday when he told holidays are over, no alcohol, schedule time, the food is regulated, and we only have like six meals that we can choose from. It's coming to an end. <laughs> there were four, the last one to a hangover, he was in bed. He's going tomorrow. We have no idea when we're going. Nothing about the police just arrived, we know we've no, all scattered The police just arrived and we all had to scatter to our rooms because we must be neither seen nor heard. Alright. And how do you feel about that, Gabriel? The Lovely. police being here. Because I just love spending time with you all. Thanks, Gabriel. We're lucky we've got a good room of people here. If I hated you guys, it's a bit shitty. Why? I want a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing about the hostel in Cusco being shut down and then being jailed for three, one to three months, 23 hours a day. Yeah, I was actually, yeah, I want my freedom back, at least what I can get back. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> We're all sitting here, no, we're getting arrested. Kenneth's got his flight tomorrow morning, and Kenneth's like, I'm gonna miss my flight. We're not arrested because my house of legend um, somehow paid the guys off with 50 euros. They lost their hands. And if we stay here, this is going to happen again, and we won't get away with it. I feel bad that it's corruption in Peru. I do feel bad that there's corruption in Peru. But right now, I'm happy about this. It's time to go home after an absolute, completely and utterly eventful trip.
Under the surface, you don't know what you'll find mm, until it's your time. No second chances, but all we can do is try. Mm, I made up my mind. I can't see you, but I hear your call, baby. Hold on now. We're going home. If we make it all we don't, we won't be alone. When I see you light shine, I know I'm home. If you're waiting all your life, you won't be alone. Yeah, I can only imagine the trials and tribulations uh, that we may have had uh, to reach this point. Hold on now. We're going home. If we make it all we don't, we won't be alone. When I see you light shine, I know I'm home. If you're waiting on They were mainly young backpackers and had just completed an arduous two-day journey home. Many had travelled for 24 hours by bus in Peru, a 13-hour flight from Lima, and a five-hour wait for a connecting flight in Heathrow. They had been stuck in Peru once the lockdown was announced. We're used to that. This is easy going compared to what we were in. Like, <laughs> like we've no military or police coming into our hostels or houses, hopefully, fingers crossed, you know. So far from the shore, I say, is like that I can't see you but I hear your call baby hold on now we're going home if we make 